Hello guys, today we're gonna do a night thrifting session. So it's a little bit different. I feel like it's a little bit more vibey. I'm gonna put in my headphones and hopefully we find some good stuff. It is currently, what time is it? It is currently 6.24 p.m. And yes, it looks like nighttime outside. That's what happens when you live in Canada, but thankfully it is getting brighter later and later these days. Today, I would love to find the perfect skirt. like kind of peachy den pant inspired i really really want the peachy den cargo pants i know they're kind of expensive and i thrifted so many cargo pants but i feel like nothing matches them but like fingers crossed you never know what i'll find so hopefully we find something good i went thrifting with my sister in this other video i filmed and listen i'm not going with her again she stole all the finds and she was really fast so i literally found nothing i literally found two things because she was so quick so today i need to make up for it i'm very excited and i'm ready to thrift so let's go before we get started with this video i wanted to thank the sponsor of this video today skillshare skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of courses to help you learn new things every day it's ad free and so easy to get started they have thousands and thousands of courses to pick from so you can learn anything from photography to videography to graphic design to business to freelancing really anything i personally started with keith yamashita's course storytelling for leaders and it really helped me get started on my youtube channel and make better videos for you guys skillshare offers new classes every week so if you happen to get bored there's always going to be something new to learn so you don't even have to worry i'm so happy to offer the first thousand people who click the link below a one month free trial of skillshare in one month you can really learn a lot so why not try it out anyways without further ado let's get back into the video and get thrifting i'm gonna be honest with you guys i really didn't want to go thrifting this night but i forced myself to go for you guys and it ended up being one of the best thrift trips i've had in a really long time that just shows even if you don't want to do it push yourself and sometimes it may turn out better than you think let's just say i ended up spending three and a half hours at this thrift store i don't know how it happened but time literally just flew by i started in the pants section i found these cute green pants and then there were some dress pants that were cute too this was like a pinstripe one not bad and then i was on the hunt for track pants because ever since that bella hadid video i am obsessed now and i remember i found this nike pair a really long time ago at the thrift store and i regret not getting that now because it was literally the perfect pair but anyways i digress i went to the leather jackets as usual because you know there's always some luck there there was this cool blue one i'm not really sure if it's my style but i decided to try it on anyways because it was so new and the quality was good and then there was this cute nude leather and it was like back to back on this rack like cool finds but i thought the detailing on the sleeves was really nice so i decided to try this on too and then there was a bunch of jackets i don't know they were all right this fur little coat was really Really cute too but over winter as you've heard me say a million times before there was a cute trench coat with a little floral detailing on the inside not bad and then we had some of these okay it's not called a trench coat i know because you guys have told me what's it called again like a wool coat yeah so there's like two of these that were pretty cute this one had a lot of fur on it and then there was this other gray one that was actually a men's one but it was really cute as well this little afghan coat vibe was cute too but again no more jackets this was really soft and cute as well i don't know i had hope for this but i didn't end up getting it i just thought like the double zipper was cute the fur was cute i don't know what i was feeling with it but i was feeling it and then we went to the shirts and we got lucky first there was this bb top i thought it was gorgeous and at this point i knew i was about to get lucky because when i find something like this on my first little like brows you know it's gonna be a good trip so i was a fan of that right off the bat and then we found this little white and red t-shirt i thought there's some hope there i wasn't really sure how i'd style it but there was potential and then right after that i found this vintage guest top and i already knew i had to grab this right when i saw it so 2000s like it was just the vibe and then i found this little purple t-shirt didn't even end up trying this on and then 
I found this Burberry shirt for $14.99 and it was real Burberry. I was like, okay, hey, I'm really getting lucky on this trip right now. Guys, there's so many good things today and it's starting to restock day, so it's pretty unexpected, but we're finding some cute things like Burberry for 14 bucks, looks pretty good. I thought this mesh shirt was really cute too. And then I found this red t-shirt. It was giving me Emma Chamberlain vibes. I don't know why. Didn't try it on. And then there was a lot of mini skirts. Ended up picking up this white one to try on. Also found this kind of bathing suit like skirt. It was bright blue. I did not know what I would wear it with, but decided to try it on too. You guys know I'm obsessed with earth tones. So I had to try this skirt on. I was thinking of wearing it low waisted. Found this midi skirt right after. It was a beautiful color. I thought it's perfect for spring. These guest jeans with little suspenders were so interesting. Obviously, it wouldn't fit me, but I just thought it was cool, so I wanted to show you guys. These were really cute too. Definitely too small and too short for me, so I didn't even bother, but cute idea. And then I found these overalls, tried those on. The lioness. These dress pants were giving me the Emma Chamberlain pants from Princess Polly. Found these corduroys, pretty cute. Did not try it on, they were mauve -y. Then I found one of my favorite dresses, I've ever found and it's this little slip but it just fits so well and then I found another mini skirt like this decided to try that on and then this cool sun hat cool this backpack was pretty cool too I wasn't really sure how to wear it but decided to grab it it was giving me utility vibes and then I found this acid wash denim bag with the red details and I thought it would be a really cute accessory these were some ugg dupes but they were really really good quality low-key but I mean what am I gonna do with bright blue Bugs. And then we were back to the glasses section as usual. Found some cute ones actually. I'm looking for bigger glasses, so these were my finds. And then there was this red gown, which was beautiful. Decided to try this on. I noticed all the Depop sellers are not going on Tuesdays and they're going on the other days. So even though they don't restock on other days, I don't know why, but there were so many good finds today and I saw their cars were full as well. I found this little silk mini dress and I thought it was really, really cute. I feel like the colors on this bag really stood out to me. I didn't grab it, but but it was cool. I have no idea why I grabbed this because it's kind of weird and freaky, but kind of cute at the same time. I thought this purse was really cute. I still love myself a mini bag, even though big bags are on trend for spring. And then I found this metallic dress. I didn't personally like it, but I was just picking it up just to show you guys that you can find the spring 2022 trends at the thrift store because metallic is one of the big ones. And then again, another trend, which is draping. I found this All Saints dress and it was literally the perfect definition of the trend. So I just wanted to show you guys this turtleneck. Okay, it doesn't really look that green on camera, but it's kind of like a light green, very cute. There were definitely some interesting shirts. There was this yellow vest, which was really cute. This little cowl neck shirt for $1.99, which is a crazy price. This jacket was epic. Didn't need it, but it was really cool. And then I found my dream cardigan. I'm gonna tie this into a shirt and it reminds me of the Bella Hadid one. So I was literally so happy. And then it was time to try everything on. I was very, very excited. This is where all my time went. This is why I stayed for so long. First, I started off with this jacket. It's actually really cute on now that I'm looking at it. And then I paired it with this little purse. Didn't end up getting either of these, but honestly, the jacket is really, really cute. And then this is that blue blazer. Definitely not my style, but very cute still for someone else. This is that jacket that I was showing you guys earlier. I love how there was two options to zip it up. You can either do it on the tighter side or the looser side. And the fur was really soft, but it was almost too soft. It was giving me blanket. I ended up doing so many polls this day on my Instagram because I couldn't decide on anything. So don't forget to follow me if you want to be involved with the decision-making process in these videos. This is that red t-shirt. Honestly, really cute like i don't know why i didn't get it and then i tried on these shorts but the waist was too big i hate when that happens and then this is that bb top amazing love the fit love that it's like a bustier vibe the sleeves are crazy i know and then i also tried on this white mini skirt grabbed that as well it was very short and very tight but i thought it could work and then these overalls i was contemplating for a really long time I don't really like how it looks on the back, to be honest. So that's what made me not get them. But I thought it was a really cute vibe for my trip. Then there was this skirt. I was thinking of wearing it low-waisted like this. I thought it was really cute. 
decided to pick it up i knew i had to try it at home without like clothes under because it was kind of hard to tell this is that midi skirt thought it was cute knew that it might be a little fitted for my liking but i couldn't really tell because i was wearing so many clothes underneath so i decided to pick it up and if i didn't like it i'd return it but then once i tried on this turtleneck with it i was like okay it's kind of a vibe together but yeah this turtleneck was 3.99 so i had to grab that too okay so these are the iconic pants i put on my story i did a poll on my story to see if i should get this and everybody was going crazy over these asking me to buy them and the waist is a bit big so i'm gonna have to adjust it and get it altered or alter it myself and then this was a little yellow sweater vest which i thought went well together but didn't end up getting that and then these are those emma chamberlain pants i was saying very cute honestly i might have made a mistake not getting these but I ended up leaving them just because I'm not that into high-waisted right now. And then this is that cardigan. There's literally a million ways to tie this. And I tried a couple different ways and I thought it was so cute. And I can't wait to wear it with a bikini. This is that draped dress. I was so confused by these straps because the straps are inside. And then the only way to tie it is to bring it out. And then it kind of makes it drape more. But I don't know if that's like the purpose of it. It's kind of awkward, but kind of works at the same time. Decided to pick this up because I thought, why not follow the trend since I really like the draping trend. This is that little silk baby doll dress. Pretty cute, but honestly, it's not really my style, so I left it, but it was adorable. This is that slip dress that I love. It just fits the body so well, and slip dresses never fit me, so I was really happy, as you can see. This is the red gown. I did a poll once again on my Instagram for this one, and everybody said pick it up. Honestly, I did end up getting it. I have no idea where I would wear this even, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might return it. I don't know. This is that cowl neck top. It has this little tie at the back that cinches your waist, so you know I was getting it because that is one of the most flattering things on a shirt. This is that see-through like mesh shirt. Pretty cute. I think someone could style it great, but I think it didn't look the best on me. And then this is that vintage guest shirt, giving me pinup model, really cute. And then I found this tank top, wearing it backwards because I prefer for it to be high neck but obsessed with this i will be wearing this a lot because it's so versatile and so cute then on to glasses i have these big ones i actually really like these ones but they had a lot of scratches on the lens so i didn't get it but honestly they were really really cute i was not feeling these white ones it was giving me like armani exchange dad in europe these were really cute they had less scratches so i ended up getting these instead of the first ones honestly the first ones are a bigger statement i should have got those and then i got these little brown ones i just thought they were simple cute can easily go with any outfit so i grabbed these as well and then this is that purse the acid wash one pretty cute ended up getting it because it's just like a statement and then this is that little backpack utility bag honestly it's kind of vibe and then these are those ugg dupes on really soft really warm and then this is the burberry collared shirt i got it literally because it was burberry hey guys we're back from the thrift store and it's a couple days later but i'm gonna try everything on for you guys this is the first find, the skirt and the top. I guess it's the first two finds. And I love the vibe. It's, it's very aligned with the spring 2022 trends video I did. I have the super micro mini skirt. As you guys can see, I love the color. It's really short. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not because it's like kind of ridiculously short. And it was 849, but I think it's really cute. And then I have this kind of 2000s vibe tank top and it goes kind of high neck. And then in the back, it dips down just like that. And I think I'm honestly wearing it backwards because I think the other way is the right way, but I just prefer this way so much more. And I love where the shirt ends off and it's just like the perfect place for low waisted pants. This was 649, so not a bad price. These two are the next finds. This skirt, I don't know, really, it's like a midi skirt, as you can see, and I might actually return it because I kind of don't like how fitted it is, but I chose to wear it like low-waisted, and then with this turtleneck that was $3.99, the skirt was $11.99. I honestly think I will bring it back. I just thought this green turtleneck was the perfect color, and it was really, really affordable, so I was like, why not? All right, so this is the next find. It's this navy turtleneck dress. It has little dark blue details on the sleeve. It's pretty short to be honest, so I don't know how I feel about it yet I don't know if I'm returning it or keeping it, but I thought it was really cute when I got it It was 350 so I think I have to keep it because it's kind of a steal 
for what it is like a dress for 350 is really really good so the sun is quickly going down so if it's getting darker that is why but this skirt and this shirt don't really match but i just slipped it on because i was kind of lazy so i'm just going to show you guys this shirt first and it's this bb top and i think it was around 11 dollars. i already took off the tag and everything this is the vibe i really really like it i love how it fits the body it's nice and tight and it has this like bustier vibe at the top and then it has these amazing ruffly sleeves like kind of obsessed with it all right so this is the next outfit i'm not 100 sure about this either but i think i really like it first of all we'll start off with this top this is a vintage guest top and i really really like it i think it was either around four dollars i think it was around four dollars and it's the same material as that tank top and i'm really vibing with it it's very very 2000s model off duty vibe with a pair of low waisted jeans it would be beautiful and then we have this little earth tone skirt it's kind of like a midi skirt i guess it's like till your knees and it has these little cinches on the side that you can even cinch more if you like and yeah it's pretty basic it gives me really gilmore girl vibes and i love to wear it low waisted i will probably keep this because it's just like comfy to throw on this is the next they're fine it's this burberry t-shirt it was 14.99 so you know i had to get it it just has this little burberry detail collar on it and it's navy blue it's kind of like in between navy blue and black and it has the little logo here so very very cute really like it i will be keeping this one all right so this is the next find it's this dress i'm pretty sure it was 11 dollars. i also took off the tag but it's kind of see-through at the top it's lace and then it just hugs the body perfectly i found it in the lingerie section and i think this is one of my favorite dresses i've ever found at the thrift store it fits perfectly and it looks exactly how i would imagine a slip dress to look like every single slip dress i found at the thrift store never fits me right and just does not hug me in the right places so i was really thankful i found this one this is the next dress again not sure if i'm gonna keep it or not just because it's so extravagant it's so cute though but like where am i gonna wear this but i mean it was 11.50 so i might as well just keep it for like a special occasion but this is the dress it's like the super long maxi dress and the bottoms have this like kind of cool stitching on it if you guys can see it's kind of like frilly the fabric is really soft and silky okay guys this is the next find and i've been wanting a shirt like this because bella hadid had a shirt like this and i literally told my friend i wish i had this for this one event we were going to and then i basically found like a little dupe of it at the thrift store so i was really happy it's like this sheer see-through cardigan i just tied it this way but you can really tie it so many different ways so it's very adjustable and you can switch it up a lot i think again i took off the tag for this but i think it was like six to eleven dollars i'm sorry guys i shouldn't take off the tags because then i forget how much it was my cat is literally hunting me right now and being a little evil and biting my ankles if you guys have cats let me know if your cat does that because i think my cat is just a little extra crazy oh he can make his own lips though okay no all right so next are these pants i put them on my story on my instagram and people were going nuts for them i do have to hem it a bit because the waist is too big but otherwise these are literally so cute they're kind of like cargo pants okay stay away from me crazy i'm not scared of my own cat anyways <laughs> they're kind of like cargo pants but they have like cinched bottoms and they're really cool they have little like cool things so you can adjust it they have so many pockets and yeah i think they're sick okay so this is the second last item i just popped on the skirt again but it's this little cowl neck shirt and it has this string at the back that you can tighten it and it gives you this snatch vibe around the waist and it's really nice breathable i think it's really flattering and best of all it was $1.99. Again, how could I say no? Like, literally, that is so cheap. So I had to get it, and I'm really happy about this one. I will be keeping it. I almost forgot to show you guys the sunglasses I got. The other pair of glasses are in my car, so I'll kind of pop it in probably with some, like, different footage. But for now, these are the other glasses I got. They're kind of, like, smaller ones. Um, 
they're brown they're very cute they were 350 and then on a different day i got these like ridiculous ones they're very very big but if you watch my spring 2022 trend video you know super big glasses are gonna be really in i don't know how i feel i feel like a bug in them but we just got it to try it out and they're dolce and gabbana and they were six dollars all right last but not least it's the last two items i'm going to start with showing you this purse and it's this like acid wash denim purse with some red details on it and it was 6.49 and i think it's very cute this is that drapey dress on it's by all saints this was 17.50 honestly i don't know how to wear it because the ties come from the inside so i assume that you have to tie it around your waist but i don't know if this is right it just adds like so much more draping to it which is great but i'm probably gonna return this because honestly i have nowhere to wear it and like it's all right it's not like my favorite ever so we're gonna send this back to the thrift store but i just wanted to try it on for you guys before i do that so yeah Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know which ones were your favorite finds. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.